In this video, we are turning your favorite enchilada flavors into a quick and easy one pan chicken enchilada skillet in just 10 to 15 minutes. No oven, no hassle, no fuss, just another bold, delicious flavors fast. Hello everyone, I'm Farhad and thanks for joining me today. I'm very excited to share with you another great, easy and delightful one pan dish that you can enjoy with very minimal efforts. A great satisfying meal for any time, lunch, dinner, and even better for the next day as a leftovers. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is uh, cook our ground chicken and go from there. The ground chicken I have here is 98% uh, lean. I don't expect to see any excess uh, liquid or fat, but if you do, you need to drain that. Right. All right. Um, I'm estimating this should take about four minutes to cook. So I have it on medium heat and you want to keep it on that temperature. We're just about four minutes and it's done. And as you can see, there's a little bit of liquid. I'm going to get rid of that. And that's not fat, just, that's just the liquid from the meat. I'm going to add so, half a, a medium onion diced. and uh, cook that for about a minute. Okay. Now we're gonna add four cloves of chopped garlic and then we're gonna cook that in about 30 seconds or so. Now we're going to add one red bell pepper. It can be any color, red, green, yellow, diced. There we are. Yeah, cook that another uh, minute or so. And next, we're going to add one cup of uh, corn. Now, I use frozen corn. Uh, frozen corns are better because uh, they have no salt, no additives, uh, rather than uh, canned. So, but be sure they're thawed, ready to go. Okay, now we're going to um, cook this for a couple of minutes. Let everything all the flavors to um, blend together. So about two minutes. Okay, now we're ready for our seasoning. We're gonna add one tablespoon of taco seasoning, low sodium, no sodium. Mix that. Oh, it smells delicious. Next, I'm going to add one teaspoon of chili powder and then mix. See that? Mix it well. And then one teaspoon of cumin. So after about a minute or so, we're going to add one can of black beans. That's about 15 ounces a can. And then mix well. Let's wait about 30 seconds or so. And now I'm going to add four ounces of green chili. This is from a can that can actually is four ounces four ounces so we're just going to add that to the pan here is three o'clock and three o'clock in the afternoon and i haven't had lunch yet so i can't wait till this is done so we're gonna um, let this sit for another minute or so then we're going to add some enchilada sauce to it and we almost finished almost just a few more things to do now we're going to add I have two cans of enchilada sauce, each are about 10 ounces. So I'm going to use uh, one first. I'm just going to add one first. 
and to see if we need to add any more. Okay. Okay, I'm going to add the second one. So you need about two cans, which is 20 ounces. There we go. All right. So now I'm going to add some tortilla strips. You can use flour or corn. And then I'm just going to mix it. I'm going to mix it with the sauce. So I'm going to, now I'm going to let that simmer for about five minutes. And then we're going to put, after five minutes, we're going to put some cheese on it. And then let it sit for a minute for the cheese to melt. And then we'll be ready to enjoy it. So I'm going to put the lid on and turn it just a bit down. Okay, we're ready for our cheese. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. You can use any kind of cheese you like. I like uh, cheddar and mozzarella. You can use Mexican cheese. There we go. Now I'm going to put the lid back and let it simmer for another minute. And then we're going to check back and see okay, how it's, it's been uh, more than a minute, so we're good. I'm going to turn it on low. And as you can see, the cheese melted. Now one more thing left to do is some chopped, fresh chopped cilantro for garnish. And there we are. We are ready to enjoy this. Bon appetit. Now this dish serves six to eight people easily. As you can see, there's a lot of food in there. Um, feel free to enjoy it with some salsa, sour cream, guacamole, um, pico de gallo. Um, and for the vegan option, um, obviously you can use, replace the, uh, the ground chicken with extra can of beans and use vegan friendly cheese. So I'm very hungry. I'm going to have more. Of course, you can use ground beef, ground turkey. I mean, there's so many ways you can do. You can make this dish the way you like it. I'm going to leave the recipe and the ingredients down below the description. So um, if you like, you can check it out. If you enjoyed this recipe, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and share it with your family and friends. I welcome any comments or questions that you may have. A heartfelt thank you to all my new subscribers. I truly appreciate your support. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, stay healthy and take care.